Russian troops continue to advance on Ukraine's largest cities, Kyiv and Kharkiv. We do want to bring you this video that we do have coming into our desk, which gives you a satellite view of exactly where those Russian troops are moving. So again, this is new satellite imagery coming into our desk. It shows the Russian march toward the Ukrainian capital is stepping up a column of Russian troops about 40 miles long on the long road to the capital of Kyiv. Initial reports only expected the convoy to be about 17 miles in length. Other images showed burning homes and buildings along the same roads the convoy is traveling and additional images showed ground forces and helicopter units being deployed in southern Belarus. Now, Ukrainian and Russian officials held peace talks yesterday as thousands of refugees continued to flee their homeland of Ukraine. Fox News correspondent Lucas Tomlinson has the latest from Lviv. We spent the whole night uh, in metro station underground. I live here uh, in the city center. Uh, we are stuck in our flat uh, with a dog. Stories like these are becoming more common across parts of Ukraine. As Russian forces push further into the country, even as delegations from both sides meet for peace talks. Residents in Kyiv are now taking matters into their own hands, and some have decided to join members of the military to fight on the front lines. Today we are trying to find these guys, the local defense unit, and we want to join. I'm not really afraid. I believe uh, the world is on our side, and, uh, you know, we were attacked. It's not our aggressions. Meanwhile, neighboring countries across Europe face a dilemma over the refugee crisis. Ukrainians looking to enter Romania say they had to wait for hours, in some cases several days, to flee their homeland. The UN estimates more than half a million people have already fled since the war began. Five days, we, we wait for about three days to get to the Polish border from Kyiv, and that's about eight hours drive. So we were three days. It was really crowded with people, like uh, it was a mess. But I, I, I can understand because everybody is stressed. As the weekend curfew lifts in Kyiv, residents now lining up to get food and essential goods in supermarkets. There are reports store shelves in the Ukrainian capital are already completely empty, making an already bad situation much worse for residents. Russian and Ukrainian delegations met for peace talks Monday. They walked away without a deal. In Lviv, Ukraine, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News. Lucas, thank you for that report. Now, this video shows a missile strike in front of the headquarters of the regional administration in the center of Kharkiv, Ukraine, which has significant damage now to the area, as seen in this video, to social media. Again, you can see that massive blast, that missile striking right in front of the headquarters of that administration center in Kharkiv, Ukraine. Now, this is some of the damage from that missile strike in Kharkiv. We do know that at least six people are injured, according to local authorities there in Ukraine. And it, again, has caused a significant amount of damage. Now, preliminary assessments found that at least six people, including a child, were injured. The video shows, again, a significant amount of damage to the area around this administrative building in the city's Freedom Square. Kharkiv is Ukraine's second largest city, and it has been a target of Russian strikes since the invasion began on Thursday. And at least around 70 Ukrainian troops were killed in a separate attack on a military unit in the northeastern part of the country. That is according to the governor of the Sumy region. Footage released by the State Emergency Service of Ukraine shows rescuers searching through the rubble in a small city, again, in Sumy, Ukraine. Now, we do want to warn you, this next video is very difficult to watch. So if you are sensitive to certain images, now is the best time to turn away. But it does show the reality of what is happening in this war between Russia.